Oh, gunshot started. <laughs> it must be daylight. <laughs> morning, guys. This is uh, this is it. Saturday morning. This is my first ever Hobie kayak tournament. So we're going to go out there, five fish. We measure them, take a photo. It's all live. Hobie done a great job. We did a. Uh, the presentation last night, everything's locked and loaded and I'm dialed. Scoot's going to be following me all day filming from his boat, so let's hope we can get some bites and show you guys what a Hobie BOS tournament is all about. Let's go. Got it, giant. I've had three days practice and uh, and this is Saturday morning this is the first day of the tournament so 6:30, you can get in the water and you can actually start moving towards your uh, your where you're gonna start fishing and then seven o'clock lines in three o'clock lines out and so we've put in way back in this marsh uh, behind Griffin and then I'm gonna paddle out to the main lake and hopefully get out there about just just after seven and start fishing and we picked a ramp where there's about 2,000 duck hunters and it just turned official daylight and there's been three gunshots already. So I'm trying not to act like a duck on my way out of here because they're about to get it. Bad day to be <laughs> But this duck. is awesome, sun's cracking, uh, beautiful morning here in Florida. Pretty tough practice, but I know Griffin decently well and I, that's the only place I got a few bites. I don't think I can win here, I don't know, but uh, it's the only place I got bites. I've had three days of paddling my butt off all over Harris Chain of Lakes. So we're gonna go out there, five fish, we measure them, take a photo. It's all live, Hobie done a great job. We did a, uh, the presentation last night. Everything's locked and loaded and I'm dialed. Let's hope we can get some bites and show you guys what a Hobie BOS tournament is all about. Kind of cool because this place like has done me over. I've had two really good events in the past in Griffin. I fell in love with this place, but the last couple years it's slid down because they've been kind of skinny and they sprayed the grass. But even though they're post spawn and skinny, they're measuring well. So I don't have to be as concerned be about them being big and fat if they're like that. Catching pretty much every one off 360. It's just big isolated eelgrass clumps here. And I just gotta look down each time. And just, it's like all beautiful bottom and then there'll just be an isolated clump. And you can fish the ones you can see with your eyes, but where you get bites are the ones that are on 360 and that are under the water. I can never usually get here in my boat this early it's usually like 8 30 9 o'clock because you've got to come through the lock you usually miss it so it's kind of cool to be out here fishing this early they're biting early which is just cool yeah, oh that's a good one good one dude oh it's a giant dude it's a giant oh my god Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the my first Hobie tournament. That thing is giant. Look how long it is. Holy cow. They're all off length, not weight. This thing is so long. This is so sketchy. I've got to try and measure it on here and not let it flip out of the boat. Dude, what a bass. What a tank. Twenty-two seven five. Selfie. <laughs> Almost twenty-three inches, twenty-two and three quarter. Would not do real good in a weight tournament length. That's a giant. Big giant. So I've measured it. 
photo, downloaded it onto the Tawny X app, and now we let them go. Uh, pretty cool part. Thanks, brother. Dude, even two more nice bites. That'll just keep me in the hunt. Fish just blew up there on bait. Oh, you just got him. Good one, dude. Good one. Stay. Stay on. I just caught it out the corner of my eye, dude. Please be a bass. I hope it's not a pike. Oh, it's a big bass. It's a big one. Stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Yes! That's what you call decisions right there. A little bit lucky, though, too. Just tied the prop bait on. <coughs> and caught... Oh, a mouthful of gnats. Oh, beauty. Not a giant, but he's a good one. I just caught a fish in the corner of my eye blow up, and I just tied a prop bait on, made the cast. Beauty. <laughs> that was cool. So now, you jump on this. 20x app, submit catch, 18.50, done, inches bass, and then I add the photo, okay, it's up there, submit catch, done, catch submitted. All right, we've got a 13 and a half, a 14 and a quarter, a 22 and three quarter, and an 18. That, that ain't bad. Like, to be competitive, I'd probably have to have five and get rid of those two small ones for like 15. But uh, hey, it's 9.30 in the morning right now. I will take that all day long. Got him! Stay on you sucker. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah. Nice. Yep, yeah, got him. Good one, dude. Good one. Real good one. Nice. Stay on you sucker. Stay on, sucker. Oh! They always come off on this thing close. Ooh. Well, we are paddling our tail off to get back. Not as bad as what it could have been, but it's still a pretty decent paddle. I am gonna have a set of quads on me. I like it. <laughs> I need them. <laughs> but yeah, what a day. First ever Hobie event, and we're sitting in fourth. With, uh, I think, about 94. Uh, inches total for five. The guys caught them. Hey, everyone whacked them all the way down. It's pretty close, but the three guys above me are all in the hundreds. I got 94 and they're all above 100, so they had a day, um, which is awesome. But they're going to take some catching. Uh, if they caught bed fish, and I can replicate that tomorrow, which I don't know, I can. Uh, I've got a shot, but You've always got a shot. But no matter what, what a day. I'm so stoked. That was as uh, as cool as it gets. Had Scoot out there shooting. Got some top water bites. Caught a couple big ones. First day in a Hobie, in a kayak event, was uh, everything that I'd imagine. These are a ton of fun. And I recommend if you want to get into tournament fishing or get a taste or you got a kayak jump in one they uh, they run a great event you don't have to have all the bells and whistles on your kayak just come out and find some fish and catch them the app and the way everything worked was really cool super simple 
and uh, I'm gonna go back, rig up, I've got to find a tackle store, get a few more worms, and I'll be ready for day two. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I had an absolute blast, and I'm definitely gonna be doing more of these, but right now I've got to focus on, I've got a shot here. It's, <laughs> these things are hard to win, like this is, this is something that, you know, a bucket list thing of mine to one fish one of these and also be competitive and also try and win one and i'm sitting in fourth out of 150 something anglers and that i know how difficult that is to do so i'm going to be giving it everything i got tomorrow see if we can't win this thing i'm pretty pumped excited to uh get back get rigged and Get ready for tomorrow different conditions some cool weather coming in i'm not catching bed fish so hopefully my fish stay biting appreciate it guys all right guys we are uh... It's 8.30, so we're only an hour and a half in and I've got my five, so. Five, day two, 17 and a quarter. We, uh, there's a live scoreboard and uh, I updated it and I wouldn't normally look at it, but it's sort of like they, uh, they let you look at it. I gave it a quick look and we're actually in the lead, but that's the last time I'm gonna look at it for the day. <laughs> but I got only five small ones. I got one 17 inch and then the rest are 15 and below down to 13. So I got a lot of, I got a lot of room to move. I think if I can get anywhere close to what we had yesterday, I can win this thing. Um, but the bites, I would say a little bit better, but just those little guys are getting to it. But uh, totally different as you can see, overcast conditions, it's windy blowing pretty consistent 10 plus and uh but i'm comfortable and i'm able to fish it i'm able to just keep it faced into the wind and watch 360 and cast at all these isolated piles and i'm still getting bit doing the exact same thing we just gotta we've got to catch a couple big ones yeah. we're working on them Ooh. got a few decisions to make now or I'd hang out here and grind and just change baits, change lures and just try and grind what I can or I hail marry it and go into the canal, go flipping, but it's not that good of a day for that either. I know I can get to like 80 plus inches out here if I can just keep them biting, but for some reason, just gets slower and slower out here as the day goes. 20 inch bass would jump me way back up there quick. There's like little bite windows too. You just go periods like this and then if you just stay around them and then you get a little bite window, you'll whack too quick. I don't like going this long without having a couple good upgrades. But I caught a, tw I just stuck with you yesterday and I caught a 20 and a 17 late in the day after not getting any bites for a long time. Well guys, that is a wrap for my very first Hobie BOS uh, kayak tournament. What a what an absolute awesome experience the whole thing was. Uh, you know, I've been fishing out of a kayak since I was a little kid, and it's what got me started. It's what got me out onto the water, off the bank, and uh, actually getting out onto the lake and into the river, and to sort of work my way up all the way through uh, my life, and then being with Hobie uh, since. AFC days back in Australia, 2008, 2009, right through, um, they've supported me. And finally, 
uh, got to fish my first actual Hobie tournament and I just can't say enough good things about it. The people, the anglers, um, the vibe, the, the tournament directors, how it was run, everything so professional, so smooth and uh, just loved every minute of it and you know these are the best uh, kayak anglers in the world and I, I end up finishing in the top 10 which I was not expecting uh, but just super stoked and can't wait to fish another one. Harris Chain of Lakes it was a challenge it was tough through two different conditions at me from slick calm beautiful day to windy overcast uh, and the best anglers figured them out uh, all of the the guys and girls that fish uh, these tournaments they're just they're, they're unbelievable anglers and they catch them every single time and uh, it's it's cool cool to see and the other thing was if you're watching this and you watch this tournament, don't be scared to jump in one of these tournaments. You don't have to be at the peak. You don't have to be the best in the world. This is the perfect tournament to dip your toes into. You'll have anglers helping you out at the ramp, giving you um, advice on how to handle your kayak, what to do. And I just learned so much about my PA-14, what I want on there, what I don't want, what I can take off, the rods and the reels. It just amplified everything and uh, I just come away from it like wanting to get into another one and change it up. Uh, the biggest thing I came away with with those big days and in the wind is I want to try and get uh, some sort of trolling motor on there. I'm going to figure out how to get a trolling motor so I can make a little bit longer runs, potentially hold spot lock, stuff like that. Um, I saw the, the guys... Uh, that really knew that's what they had so just want to say thank you to Hobie appreciate everyone um, Scott got out there in his boat and shot the whole thing um, over two days and uh, just super pumped and uh, I hope you enjoyed that video appreciate all the follows the support and uh, can't wait for the next one let's go